So, if you guys were like me, you've done a bunch of research on strollers, like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and you finally find one that you think you want, and you don't know which one to get from the same brand. Uh, so, I'm talking about the Zoe strollers. So, the Zoe XLC Best V2 and the Zoe XL1 Best V2. Uh, I didn't know which one to choose, so I bought one of each with the intent of returning one if I didn't like it, but I'm just going to put one in my wife's car and one in my car and just call it a day. Um, I bought the open box versions. Um, they're just like brand new. I wouldn't buy a brand new one. Save yourself like 20, 30 bucks and it's the same thing. Um, so review, first of all, they're great. Both of them. They're very smooth, like very smooth. And they have everything a normal stroller would have. Usually I have like a jogger stroller. I've been taking that around the place, but it's so big and bulky. Uh, this gives you everything the jogger does, except for that running and bouncing ability. But I don't need that everywhere. So overall, I think these are the best strollers that you can get for size and how smooth they are and what they come with. Uh, but the biggest problem I had was like XLC versus XL1. What is the biggest difference? I read everything, I looked up videos, and I just couldn't find one that gave me everything that I wanted to know. So, first of all, here is the XL1. Here is the XLC. These are the size comparisons next to one another. I couldn't find this, so here it is. They're pretty much the same size, yes, but the XLC is a little bit smaller. And if you see an XL1, the wheels come out a little bit more, which is why I think this one fits in that overhead compartment for airplanes better. But you can easily pop the wheels off. I figured that out. This is the belly bar. So the belly bar can easily come off too. And I guess, you know, I would want to keep it on the whole time, but it's easy to come off. So size-wise, they're like the same, but XL1 is just enough bigger to not fit that well in my car as the XLC. So that's one thing. Um, secondly, the opening part. The XL1, this thing, it opens pretty easily. Um, it has a little latch here that just holds it up and you just prop it open. Done. Pretty simple. Nice. A little bit bigger for your baby. I love the belly bar. The real reason I wanted the XL1 is so my baby could use the belly bar. I know she loves to like sit down and put her hands on it. Big thing. Um, really, that's the only difference. And it's a little bit wider. But the problem I have with the XLC, well, not me personally, but my wife has a shoulder injury. So it's very difficult for her to open the XLC. Like you have to squeeze open and you have to do this little thing, which I think so. Opening the XLC is not easy and it's really dumb. Zoe, you guys really need to fix this. I don't understand why it has to be so hard. The XL1 opens so easily. Why can't you just make it? Look, look, look check it out. Look at this. You have to like bring it up high enough to snap. My wife is not able to do this. So. I've been having to put it in her trunk open. That's ridiculous, and I wish Zoe could send me something to fix that problem. But for now, I just put it in her car full. Reason I put it in her car is because she does not go out as much as I do with the baby, so this is more of like an emergency one, and I'll take it on the plane with me, but XL1 is what I'll use every day. Um, also, Zoe, what you don't tell people, XLC comes with a cup holder. Uh, I bought another cup holder, added it to the cart, and you guys gave me two cup holders. I tried to let support know within two to three days. No response yet. It's been a week. Nobody talks to me. I left voicemails. I call. Uh, well, call, left voicemails. Nobody talked to me. So, I don't know what to do. I have an extra cup holder. Spend extra money for it for no reason because you guys did not explain that it, the XLC comes with one. So, that's another thing that gets me upset. But... Other than that, it's a great stroller, other than it can't open easily. I can do it pretty easily, but my wife can't even do it, so you guys need to fix that. Closes, easy, still folds up, 
nicely. Um, so that is why I think the XL1 is better. Just because of how much easier it is to fold it and then open it back up just with this little tab. Why can't the XLC do this? I don't know. See how easy? Boom, click. Ready again? Here's XLC. Release. Nope. Now we're clicked in. Makes no sense. But overall, they're two very good strollers and I'm gonna keep both, Zoe. So you can at least like give me some money back for my extra cup holder and maybe show a trick on how to do this a little bit easier as in opening it. And there's your Zoe stroller review.